But now for the movie that everyone heard of and no one saw, Hardcore Henry. <laughs> now this movie originated from Elian Nyshuler, who originally made music videos shot with a GoPro for a Russian indie band called Biting Elbows on YouTube, which he fronted at as the lead singer. These videos were made in 2013, and they went viral. It was unheard of to shoot an entire project with just a GoPro. And also, it was really violent and had sort of a video game feel, which is what people really liked about it originally. So Ilya got the grand idea to make it into a movie, and Hardcore Henry was born. This movie was also filmed entirely on a GoPro with a special rig that went around the stuntman's head like this. The movie is also 70% practical effects, which I love seeing in movies. Now the action starts from scene one. You, the viewer, are Henry. And he's just woken up and he's in a lab and he has two robot limbs and the scientist doing tests on him. He, she's like, I'm your wife and you have amnesia. And a group of mercenaries are attacking the ship and you have to flee. I mean, it's, it's all out. And honestly, maybe it's because of how invasive the movie feels, but the plot just gets really confusing. I mean, honestly, no one's seeing this movie for the plot. People are seeing it because it's a work of art. In theory, this is a really cool idea. It's new, it's innovative, and it's a step forward in videography. That being said, it was just weird. I mean, people started to hate 3D movies because they said it gave them headaches and people began to complain about motion sickness. Imagine that times 10. It's not even 3D. And scenes that aren't action scenes feel like action scenes just because Henry's running and the camera's shaking up and down, aside from being really close up. And as I said before, something that carried into the movie was there was a staple kind of of the music videos was that it was a bit violent, which is even creepier when you're seeing it so close up. I appreciate the enormous feat that this director accomplished, and altogether I think it's a really cool idea, but it just got overwhelming, and the ratings showed it. This had a budget of $10 million, and so far the movie has only made $7.5 million worldwide. Now, I mean, it's just opening weekend, so I'm sure it'll make more, but it doesn't look like a promising profit. <laughs> Unless you're a close friend of someone in the production or just super psyched about the concept, I'd suggest waiting until it inevitably comes out on Netflix.